Hello Year 7, my name is Mr Holtam and today we're going to be exploring op art in our, as a part of our textiles lessons um, for remote learning. Um, so for today's task, the materials you're going to need with you are a pair of scissors, a rubber, you may need a, uh, a sharpener, a drawing pencil and a ruler with a piece of paper. Okay, um, we're going to be looking at op art and op art stands for optical art. And that's something we're going to be exploring a little bit more over the coming weeks and we'll learn much more about it as we progress. But for today, we're going to start by completing a drawing. Okay, so we're going to draw something a bit like this. We're going to draw the pattern out today and then next lesson we'll apply the colours to create the illusion. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is turn our rectangular piece of paper square. Okay, and the easiest way to do this is to grab a corner of the page, fold it over so that the paper is lined up with the edge, nice and neatly. And then we're gonna create a crease along this side of the paper. And that will give us, okay, this rectangle here, which can then be cut off. And when we've cut that off, then we'll have a square piece of paper to work on top of. Okay, we're gonna just cut along this edge now to remove this rectangle the excess paper we don't need. So you're gonna get your scissors and just cut on this edge all the way to the top to remove it. Pop that to one side because we don't need that anymore. Unfold your paper and you'll see you have a square, okay? Now, what we need to do in order to create this pattern is to divide the page up into triangles. And the easiest way to do that will be to draw an X. Okay, so I'm going to turn the page on its side, move those out the way for a second. I'm going to grab my ruler, I'm going to place one side of the ruler on the very corner of this edge of the page, hold that in place and then reposition the ruler on this end so that it is also through this corner of the page. Okay, and when you're happy that the corners are touching with the ruler, get your pencil and draw a nice thin line a light line, not a heavy line, just a light line like this across the ruler. And we're going to do the same now on this side. So again, I'm going to place my ruler on that corner there, shift that side of the ruler up so it's on that corner. And when I'm happy with that, press the ruler down and draw a nice light line across the page. And you'll see here, I have a very faint X. If you have um, a very heavy line, okay, um, it's going to make it much more difficult to rub out and we don't want to have it too heavy because we're going to add the colours on afterwards and that will just create the, the illusion that we're looking for. Now what we need to do is create the measurements for these black lines here. Okay, we're going to mark these out and draw them in um, each triangle on the page. Okay, so we're going to grab the ruler and we're going to be looking at the centimetres. So make sure your ruler's on the centimetre side. We're going to zero the ruler off on the middle point of the paper, okay? And we're gonna look at this one triangle for now. So I'm gonna then measure and mark off a centimeter all the way along this line, okay? Make sure the ruler is on the line, it doesn't slip or the paper moves because that will make your measurements inaccurate. I'm just gonna make sure we're marking off every centimeter across that line. Now when we get to the corner, the corner will be just under a centimetre, but don't worry about that because it should be the same all the way around. I'm going to turn the triangle this side um, so I can work on this line now that we've made. Again, I'm zeroing off the ruler. I'm going to mark then a centimetre all the way across this line. Nice and easy. Okay, nearly done now. When we finish this bit, we can then start to connect the dots to create the lines for us to colour in. So when I finished the dots on both sides, okay, I'm going to get the ruler and then join these dots up. So make sure your pencil is on the dot you've made and the ruler is touching the other dot and just draw a nice light line, okay, like this. And then we're going to continue that all the way up this line here. Okay, so nice and easy. Just continue 
making sure that the dots are connected. If they're not connected, oh, my page has slipped there. If they're not connected, then we're gonna have some wonky lines and that's going to um, detract or take away from the overall effect we're trying to create when this piece of work's finished. So don't rush this part. Make sure everything is nice and accurate, nice and neat. Again, we're not using thick, heavy lines. We're just creating nice light lines for us to work with for next lesson. Now, by the end of this lesson, you should have completed the lines all the way around this piece of paper, okay? So when we finish this triangle, we're gonna move on to the next one and it's the exact same process, okay? So we're gonna measure then centimeter across the next triangular line and then we're gonna connect those lines up. And we should end up with a pattern that looks similar to the pattern in the photograph that I showed you at the beginning of the lesson. So that's the first one done. Now I'm gonna turn my page again and look at this triangle because we've already got the dots along that line. We need to now make dots on this line. So I'm gonna again use the centimeter side of the ruler, zero it off in the center, and then draw the dots in all the way across, every centimetre, just put a little mark, and that's where you're gonna to have to connect the lines for this pattern, okay? So, when we're on this side now, we don't have to draw the dots on the other side because we've already made them. I'm just gonna connect the dots and continue creating these connected lines. Okay, nice and easy, again, I want to stress the importance of taking your time with this to make sure that you get it nice and accurate, nice and neat, nice and controlled. Okay, there's no rush for this. When you've completed that, let me grab one a bit earlier, it will look something a bit like this. Now this is what I'm expecting you to have by the end of this lesson, okay? When you've done that, pop it back in your pack so you don't lose it, keep it safe, because you will not be able to complete next lesson without this piece of work. Okay, well make sure you upload a photograph of the completed work to class charts so that your teacher can assess it for you. Thank you very much, Year 7, I look forward to seeing your work.